Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills in Matthew Tikani. I would like to present to you today seven pairs of contrasting words. Words which you should not mix up. They may look similar, but they are different. So here we go. The first word is damage and injury. Damage and injury. Damage is harm done to things or objects. Injury is harm done to living beings, persons or animals. So in a bombing, buildings will be damaged. Airports will be damaged. Roads will be damaged. Or houses will be damaged. Whereas in an accident, persons will be injured. If you are wounded, your body is injured. Uh, animal, an animal transported in a uh, van um, can be injured on the journey. So that's damage and injury. Next, win and defeat. To win means to accomplish something. To do something good, something great. So that is winning. There is a next one, defeat. Defeat is to get the better of somebody else. To do better than someone else. That is defeating. So winning. Something you accomplish. You can win a gold cup. We can win a scholarship. Whereas defeating, that is in a competition. Your team may defeat your opponents. India may defeat Pakistan in cricket. So when you're defeating somebody, you make somebody you're making somebody to come second. Uh, you are the first one. So winning and defeating. Next is tasty and tasteful. Tasty and tasteful. Tasty refers to food. Food that is uh, good to eat. That is very nice to eat. That is tasty. And uh, what is tasteful refers to the appearance. The way something is arranged artistic appearance tasteful so a tasteful for example a tasteful arrangement of flowers so tasty is for food tasteful is for art then you have overtake and overcome overtake and overcome overtake is to go past someone else overcome is to win over some situation to solve some problem that is overcome so overtake especially applied in traffic situation cars will overtake buses you can overtake another passenger okay. so that is overtaking overtaking is forbidden on sharp corners whereas overcoming is you no know, defeating some sickness or some problems. You can overcome TB. We are trying to overcome poverty in our country. That is overcoming. Next, you have suddenly and quickly. Suddenly means something that is happening unexpectedly. You could not anticipate it. That is suddenly. Quickly is doing something fast without losing time, without delay. So about suddenly, you can say the sky became suddenly dark. Or a tree fell suddenly on the road in the storm. Whereas quickly, examples, come quickly, don't lose time. Across the road quickly, exit the train quickly, so that there will not be any accident. So that is suddenly and quickly. Then fit and suit. Fit regards uh, proportion size. For example, a triple X t-shirt will not fit a lean person. You need a much larger dress. So fit is referring to size. Okay. And these shoes may not fit your shoes. Sorry, these, piece, these shoes will not may not fit your feet because these are too small. That is fitting. And suit refers to to taste or what do you call it? fashion? Something that is uh, 
suitable, something that is good for the occasion yes, or good for the situation. So, for example, woolen clothes will not suit you for summer. You need woolen clothes only for winter. Swimsuit is not suitable for the church. You can go to the beach. So, that is uh, fit and suit. The last one, last pair, grand and grandiose. Grand is something is impressive, something great. Grand. Grandiose also great, is great or looks great, but it is uh, uh, for show. It is for the sake of making an impression. So, grand. The rich live in grand houses, grand mansions. The PM hosted a grand dinner for visiting dignitaries. Now, for grandiose, the newly rich like to live in grandiose mansions. Ratan Tata, who died recently, never liked any grandiose uh, uh, house or car. He lived an ordinary fact. So, these are a few seven pairs of words. They so, look, look similar, but you should take care to know the difference in meaning and uh, use them appropriately. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Bye. Till another time.